Hello YouTube, Deep Audrey here. So, uh, another video on this uh, Vi Air 88P compressor. So here is the armature, and um, I would say this motor is pretty nicely made. The uh, They could have done a little bit better here, because the only thing that they have secured is the ends of the windings in the armature. They haven't actually secured any of the armature windings. So um, vibration can slowly break these wires over time. Uh, they do have, um, yeah, it does look like they have, have a bit of it on there, but not a lot. So they do have some lacquer on the windings, but um, really what they should have done is extended this epoxy down across all the ends here because they will vibrate and they'll slowly break over time. But uh, that may not be too big of a problem. It does happen, but uh, uh, the important part is right where they crimp down to the commutators, they are epoxied there so they can't break. Uh, so anyway, that's pretty decent. The other end, I don't know how well you can see down inside there, it's dark in the hole. But there is the screw to take out to pull the flywheel off. And, um, well, let me just show you the wrench. <clears throat> and you see the twists on there? I cranked on that bugger. <laughs> it twisted my Allen key. Uh, so whatever is holding that in there is really tight. And it's got, you know, probably red lock, uh, thread locker on it. So anyway, I cannot get that screw out. Uh, so I can take the flywheel off. But um, nevertheless, you can see that there is a bearing in there. And that is a 608Z. So, um, yeah, this thing is all constructed with 608Z bearings. Including the other end. So... Here is the uh, brush carrier end, and um, that bearing is also a 608Z. Uh, it's got a capacitor on it for dealing with high frequency spikes. Uh, the solder work is pretty decent. Um, I would say that they could have done better, uh, but uh, what you really have here is the wires coming into the motor uh, have a crimp on uh, lug. And, of course, the end of the brushes have a crimp on lug. And then they have screws that hold them into this plastic, which feels a lot like glass-reinforced uh, nylon, possibly. But uh, then they soldered all of that together. So there's a screw through all that stuff, and then there's solder, too. So I'm going to call this pretty darn reliable. That's not likely to fail on you. Uh, you know, a screw's not going to work loose. It can't, because it's literally held in place by solder you know to the the top of the screw to the to the solder lugs so all this stuff is soldered together if it was just solder i would say it probably wasn't adequate but between the screw and the solder oh yeah this is definitely not going anywhere and then of course this capacitor is soldered on as well so um i would say i'm pretty happy with that that's uh that's not bad inside the shell here uh you've got a couple of ceramic magnets um the ends of the can are keyed so you can't orient it wrong. Uh, the magnets themselves have a couple of uh, keepers inside there. Uh, you can kind of see it. Let me grab my light again, whatever I did with it. Yeah, so you can see that little keeper in there that keeps the magnets oriented. And then they are also probably glued in, which is pretty typical. But um, yeah, the, the walls on the motor shell are pretty reasonable. Uh, the motor itself is completely independent of needing all the other structure around it, which is good. So in other words, this can is effectively the entire motor shell. Uh, I would say that the Via Air is significantly better quality than the uh, tire well. I, I mean, th this is probably really a $65 tire pump, whereas the tire well, more like a $35 one, because it's just really cheap inside. This is significantly better quality in every possible way. All right, looking at one last little detail here. So the wire, uh, I don't have a micrometer handy, but um, this wire uh, looks to be something about like 0.8 millimeter. So I'm going to say that it's probably like 20 aug wire, which is pretty reasonable. Um, they have done some balancing work as well. Uh, this is not unusual. So you see that little blue blob right there. Yeah, that's a little bit of epoxy, and you know, you you spin the armature, and then you uh, look for the the light spot, and then you go pfft, stick down a blob of goop. So this armature was actually balanced. Um, quite often, also, what's done is uh, in the laminations in the armature is you'll get spots that are ground in it, but 
there are none of those. There's just that one little blob of epoxy stuck to the windings. So maybe this armature was pretty well balanced, except for a little bit of an imbalance right there. Still, that's a clear sign. In fact, I can see fingerprints in it. That's a clear sign that somebody spent at least a little bit of trouble trying to balance this armature. Because it's spinning pretty darn fast. But uh, yeah, I, I'm, I would have to say I'm generally very pleased. Uh, let's see if it works too, since I can get in here. So sometimes you'll find that the laminations, yeah, they, they come apart. I don't know how well that's going to show up on camera. They come apart a little bit. So they are not glued together. Um, they are just compression fit together. So if you were to take all these windings off, uh, you could separate all the laminations. But they're trapped, so they can't really go anywhere. But, uh, yeah, I can definitely separate the laminations. Let's see if I can do that again. Maybe I'll show up on camera. See the little tiny gap that forms in there? Because they're not glued together. Uh, they're, they're just uh, bare steel with insulating material on either side of them, but no glues. Still, that's not horrible. I've seen far worse. Uh, what I don't see is, you know, an armature that is rough or build quality is terrible. It's actually pretty decent. All the windings are lacquered. Uh, I would have liked a little bit more up here at the top of the motor just because all these ends are going to uh, vibrate and uh, that's going to slowly cause them to break. But you do have epoxy on all of the uh, crimps that hold them to the... Uh, commutators so that's a good thing overall pretty decent much better than tire wall much much better than tire wall